Hello and welcome to Writer's Workshop on Thursday, October 1st. Today is the very first day of October. I love fall. I love October. It's so exciting. So I want to talk to you about, guess what? Character traits. <laughs> Just like we did in Reader's Workshop. Um, and we've been talking about readers, uh, characters in Reader's Workshop. We're also going to talk about your character when you're writing. So yesterday we played a little game called Top 3. And I asked you your top three of something just to brainstorm, remember, because good readers brainstorm before they write. Now, I do believe that I did talk to you about brainstorming people you know, important people in your life, people that you know, and make a list of those people. If you haven't done that, that's okay. Um, if I haven't asked you to do that, I'm very sorry. Sometimes I get confused on what I say during class in person and what I say on the computer. And sometimes they don't mesh together as succinctly as I would like them to. So if I have not asked you to brainstorm that list of the top five or top 20 important people in your life, um, I want you to do that. I want you to write them down. And I want you to just make it a list. Remember when we're brainstorming, we're not writing these huge sentences. So I'm gonna show you my list. Okay, so my list has my kids, Mr. Bjorkman, my mom, my sister Sam, Michael and Alina, that's my nephew and my niece, or one of my nephews and one of my nieces. My students is on my list. There might be other people that I might add, like, oh, I'm gonna add one right now. I'm gonna add Mrs. Torres, because she's my good friend in school. And hmm, I think I might also add hmm, Mrs. Renali. Mrs. Renali. So you wanna add people to your list. Your list can be super long, or you can only have a few people on it, that's okay. Today, I want you to choose one of those. Now, last time I talked to you, I chose one time that I spent with my sister in Dublin, and I didn't get to write that story yet, so I'm going to stick with this one small moment with this very special person, okay? Because I do want to start to write my story, and I already did sketch it out. If you remember, I told you, you want to sketch out the pieces of your story. So one super important moment with my sister was when we went to Dublin. Okay. And we were outside a museum in Dublin on the sidewalk and we were waiting in line for the bus and I put a lollipop in my mouth and there were ants all over it. Gross. So I sm threw my lollipop to the cement and it smashed into a million pieces. That is one small moment that I had with my sister, with my very important person. This is what I would like to see you do, okay? I would love to see you sketch out what you're going to choose your very special person that you feel like writing about today. It could be anybody on your list. It doesn't have to be the first, it doesn't have to be the last. Anybody on your list. And I want you to think about one moment. I don't wanna hear about a big, huge watermelon moment. This is the big, huge watermelon. And if I was writing a big, huge watermelon moment, I might say, my sister and I went to Ireland. We drove up the coast. We drove all the way down the coast. We stopped at here, and 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 then we went home. That's a big watermelon idea. I want the little seeds, right? The tiny little seeds. This is when I stopped in Kilkenny. This is when we went to a museum in Killarney. This is when we went to this um, gorge down in the south of Ireland. This is where I kissed the Blarney Stone. Okay, little seeds, moments in time. Not the whole story, I did this, I did this, I did this, I went home. No, we want that one tiny little seed. So I remember one time when I went to Ireland with my sister, but this particular moment will be stuck in my memory for 
ever, this tiny moment that lasted a total, total of five minutes will be stuck in my brain forever. So I want you to find one special moment with one special person. You can sketch it out if you haven't already. If you've already sketched it out, you can start writing. So if I was going to start writing my story, I'm gonna skip lines. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna turn this around because it's really hard to write upside down, but maybe I can do it a little bit sideways. I'm gonna start by saying, a long time ago, my sister and I went to Ireland one day. Now look at what I forgot to do. I forgot to skip lines. What I want you to do is I want you to skip lines but sometimes it's hard to remember. So I like to put X's on the lines that I'm going to write on every other one so that I know only write on the lines that have an X. Because when we go back to edit these or add details, we wanna have space to write those details in. So I'm gonna take out this line and if you forget, you don't have to erase the whole thing. Just start skipping lines from wherever you are. Okay, so a long time ago, my sister and I went to Ireland. One day, we were standing on the sidewalk in Dublin, waiting for the bus. My sister, here's my character trait. My sister pays attention to everything. She always examines food before she eats it. So you learn something about my sister. She always looks at her food before she just pops things in her mouth. Sometimes she smells it, sometimes she looks it over, but she always does that. She pays attention. She's very careful about what she's putting in her mouth. Me, not so much. I'm not so much. I don't pay that much attention. I just know that I want to eat it and I put it in my mouth. But maybe I should be a little bit more like my sister. So this is how all of these pieces are coming together. So now you know, as a writer, you are going to brainstorm ideas. You're going to select one and find that tiny seed moment. You're going to start to sketch it out so that you get an idea in your mind of how you want it to go. And you're going to write about it. But you must include those character traits because it helps the reader know your character you know something new about my sister. She always examines her food. She's very picky and particular that way. So that's something new that you can learn from the words that I put in here to describe her. We describe our characters. So that's what you're going to work on in your writer's notebook today. You don't have to write the whole story. I'm stopping for today. I'm not done with my story, but I'm gonna stop here because I really, really want you to focus on just identifying that character that you wanna tell us about. Make sense? I hope so. Good luck. If you have any questions at all, please ask. I will talk to you soon. Have a great day.